Many scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Hey guys, it's Nick from Us here, and today I'm going to be bringing you an exciting Mortal Kombat 11 news video. Mortal Kombat Aftermath is NetherRealm Studios' new big announcement for Mortal Kombat 11, and I could not be more hyped. It's going to be one of the biggest updates the game has gotten, and it's already coming on May 26th. Basically what it is, is we're getting a continuation on the story mode, leading off from the end where Liu Kang defeats Kronika. And just like I thought, they are including DLC characters from the first combat pack, as well as some new characters with Fujin and Shiva. We are getting friendship finishers again, which is great to see as an old school Mortal Kombat fan. We haven't got any friendship finishers yet in the NRS era games, so I'm definitely glad to see they haven't forgotten their silly and goofy roots. New stages are also being added, as well as stage fatalities, which if you ask me, are always a must have for a Mortal Kombat game. I've always had a feeling that stage fatalities were going to be updated into Mortal Kombat 11 for free because I remember when Mortal Kombat X got upgraded into Mortal Kombat XL, they did a similar thing by adding the pit and adding a stage fatality for that and a couple of other stage fatalities. So along with a bunch of new skins, story content, finishers and stages, we're also confirmed to be getting three new playable characters, that being Fujin, Shiva, and Robocop. I'm really looking forward to Fujin and Shiva, Fujin deserves this so much. He is one of the best 3D era characters, and it was just a plain and simple tease to see him in the Mortal Kombat X story mode, but not playable. And Shiva has always been my favorite Mortal Kombat female, as I always love being able to play as a Shokan in a game, and this makes her the first playable Shokan in Mortal Kombat 11. She was prominent in the story mode, so I only think it's fair that she's made playable as well. But overall, I am most excited for Robocop. If you follow my videos, you would know I have been talking about Robocop since the game was announced, and the fact he's coming to the game is actually a dream come true to me. Robocop was always one of my childhood heroes growing up, and the fact that Peter Weller, the original Robocop actor, is returning for the voice work and motion capture just could not be more perfect. Netherrealm Studios shows a lot of passion with their guests, so I can't wait to see all their awesome effort that they put into Robocop. Based off what we already know, he's going to have his Auto 9 pistol, riot shield, a flamethrower, and his shoulder cannon where the ammunition can be changed. A lot of my predictions and hopes for Robocop seem to be coming true. He's the only guest in the pack so far, but already I am happier with him than I have been with the last three guests in the game. I haven't been this hyped for a character since Leatherface was announced in Mortal Kombat X. So to break it all down, the free content that is being added to Mortal Kombat 11 through Aftermath are the stages, the stage fatalities, and the friendship finishers. If you want the characters, the skins, and the new story mode, you're gonna have to pay $40. I've seen some people complain about it, and yeah, I mean I agree, it is pretty expensive in retrospect. But considering we're getting a ton of content and it's a game we all love, I definitely don't mind paying that and supporting NetherRealm Studios. To me that's a lot more reasonable than them asking $8 for three Halloween themed costumes. And I think that sums it up overall for this update. I'm really excited to see all the characters' friendships, the stage fatalities, the new characters of course like I mentioned. Oh, this is just awesome. I'm really happy to see that Mortal Kombat 11 is not over yet. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about the Aftermath update and all of this new content. Thanks for watching guys. As always, this has been Nekfamous. See you later. Let's see how he likes the Kamehameha!